hello and welcome again uh, in this video I am going to start uh, with uh, introducing the code editor and the environment where you can start writing your code as you know programming is all about code and where you can write your code how you can run your code and all of this stuff in this video I will tell you when you are learning uh, the good thing about web design and development is that it is very easy to get started because you don't need something called compiler if you are going to learn about desktop development you, you need a, a compiler mobile game all of them needs a compiler but when it comes to the web you do need a compiler all you need is just having your computer set up in, in front of yourself that's it you can start learning web designing yeah that's that much easy but one thing you need is the something could edit called code editor or text editor or IDE or something whatever you call this is just an environment where you can write your code of course you can write your code in the notepad too in windows you have notepad if you have notepad that's fine you can write your code here but uh, uh, code editor or text editor give you a lot of flexibility as you can see it give you line number it will you give you color coding it will give you a lot of more things that you will learn in the future that make your life easy while you are writing code so code editor is something good that you should use while you are developing or learning coding you don't need to have any compiler i will talk about compiler interpreter all of those things in the future videos for now that is just fine that you know the only thing you need is code editor so here are the best code editor for web designer and we will start with uh, some introducing some of them one of them is sublime of course sublime is not free but you can use it free forever when when you are using this uh, they will ask you that you should buy it if you go to their license their license is a little bit uh, i think expensive you know 80 dollar for text editor it is a lot but once you buy it it is uh, for ever for you as you can see just single license is 80 dollar 10 license is this much and it will uh, if you want to buy this this is a very nice code editor for uh, so many years i use this i like it and it is super fast that's why most uh, developer still use it and most developer mm, love it too in including me the next thing is atom atom uh, i think this was uh, this was a very nice text, text editor i used to use it for one year then i uh, left using it but this is a very cool text editor this is open source this is built on HTML5 with electron which we will discuss in the future this is completely a, a, a text editor which is built on with HTML5 technology so this is another good one this is completely free and open source you can use this one the other one is bracket bracket is f b from Adobe if you are an Adobe user you have used Photoshop Illustrator, all of those uh, softwares. Adobe have made the brackets for free. This is a uh, free text editor. This is also with HTML5, but this is very configurable with uh, Adobe Photoshop and the software that are built by uh, Adobe. So if you are uh, interested in that, feel free to use this one. And the next one is Notepad++. This is for Windows. This is not an advanced. It is a good replacement for Notepad, but it has a lot of feature. This is uh, actually a code editor, but it is not as good as a uh, bracket, atom, and sublime. I have used this one, but this has some feature that bracket, atom, and sublime do not have. Uh, so Sometimes I use this one because of those features. So you can use the Notepad Plus Plus. This is also completely free and open source. The next one is, of course, Visual Studio Code. This is not Microsoft Visual Studio. This is Visual Studio Code. This is a completely free code editor this is uh, an id by microsoft built by microsoft this is open source this is uh, everything you need to know uh, about this that is that is i think uh, the the top i think this is the best code editor i have ever seen among the uh, the other i'm not going to say this is uh, a lot uh, how should i say this is the best i think because it has a lot of things you, you can you can do uh, uh, you can you ju you just need to have from uh, a text editor. I I mean all the features that uh, Sublime, Atom, Bracket, and Notepad has this one. The code all uh, the Visual Studio code has all of those things. Plus there are many other things. 
and I will teach you about how you can use this one in the future as you can see here is I have installed it and I'm using this there are a lot of things you will learn about it uh, it has a lot of features which we will discuss in the future so I will use this one this is also completely free and open source it has uh, a lot of good features we will which we learn in the future so I will use this one feel free to use any of them you can go and download any of them test them anyone you like but you should know something uh, uh, when you are uh, uh, writing code you must master one of these because uh, you will become comfortable writing code in one of these mm, the shortcut between them they are sometimes different the shortcut that you use in atom and bracket that or notepad plus plus or sublime text they are a bit change we, when you master in one code editor that will be easy for you to develop large application on that uh, code editor so i will use visual studio code feel free to use any uh, other tools that you want once you it is uh, of course free you can download and install it once you install it you can open it uh, and it will look something like this but i have customize it a bit I think uh, for me the font is a bit big can make it smaller and in the future I will teach you about how you can configure it how you can uh, customize it how you can install extension and all of those things so this is for the second video and the next video we will start diving into HTML how it works how the how you can write your code and how you can run it thank you for watching